Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have a fountain pen purchase to share. I am so excited for this one. I have been stocking this pen for, I know it was a 2021 release. I feel like I've been stocking it for about two years now. Uh, it was a pen I couldn't get my hands on very easily. It just always seemed to sell out. It's from Kilk. If you haven't heard of that company before, they are located in Istanbul, Turkey. They are they consider themselves a boutique pen business. I think that's really cool. Uh, all of their pens are handmade, so I can't wait to get into this. Uh, <laughs> I'm really excited. I just got an email one morning from Endless Pens going, hey, this is in stock, and I don't think I've ever purchased anything so fast in my life. I was like, oh my goodness, it's actually available. So, it's packaged very well. Have an Endless Pens warranty card and the pen itself. So, I didn't order anything extra. I just outright ordered this as quickly as possible. This is Kilk's Camera Laterna Fountain Pen. I cannot wait to see this. So Kilk is a fairly new brand and I actually have never seen one of their fountain pens in person. So I'm really excited to try it out. They do a stainless steel nib and I do like stainless steel nibs. I have to admit, I think I grab for my gold nibs a little bit more often, but I do love a stainless steel nib and I'm not a cinema nut or a buff so to speak but I do absolutely adore film so I'm very excited for this aesthetic to be in my collection this is the Kilk logo I love the way that it's balanced very cool so the box has a magnetic flap yes it does and here we have the warranty, writing instructions, use and care. I always appreciate it when companies put that in, just in case, it's, it's quite helpful. A polishing cloth for the metals because this pen actually has sterling silver accents. And here's the pen. Ooh, it's actually quite weighty, which I like. I like a good weighty pen. Oh, wow it is so pretty oh my goodness so I'm not a gray toned person I don't like a lot of gray hues I like solid black but when I saw this pen with this I mean look at these the sterling silver accents these are amazing they have a film strip and a countdown film leader I don't know if any of you are familiar I watched a ton of silent pictures as a kid so so many with a film leader so i'm quite familiar with that the film strip clip very cute very clever i really like that but to top it all off quite literally we have a film reel spinner on top of the pen i i know i'm just going to fidget with this like all the time i'm not a fidgeting type person i don't get into the fidget spinners but this oh yeah i will just sit there and play with that all day long. That is fantastic. Oh my goodness. I love the color of this. It's supposed to be invocative of cell celluloid. I completely agree. So beautiful. So this is a special edition and this was their 2021. Like I said, it's been a little hard for me to get a hold of. I just kind of lucked out. I did order a medium nib. And I'm actually not remembering if it's a pull or a twist. Ah, twist. Okay. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And it is a Bach nib, a number six, but Kilk tunes all of their nibs. I love it when companies do that. I feel like I'm going to get such a better nib than I would otherwise. I've had really good experiences with that. They have a branded converter. This feels good. This pen, the body, the, the actual resin feels really comfortable. The shape is really comfortable. It has this little dip in here. Fingers feel really good setting on that. And the pen, the back tapers because the 
cap is postable and it's supposed to be vacuum fitted. So it's a little weighty. A little. It might not bother me. I, I tend to like larger, heavier pens, but I do like the way that just slides on. It's very satisfying and it's a really secure post. So that's pretty awesome. So the weight, the extra weight is this fabulous little thing here, but uh, totally worth it in my opinion. So I'm just going to probably ogle this pen for like the next goodness knows how long, but I will go ahead and ink it up because I can't stand it. I have to try it out and I'm sure you may be curious to see how it writes. I did choose a medium nib. I kind of toyed around with maybe getting a fine and decided I needed to go with my old standby. So medium nib it is. I'm just going to grab some ink and be right back. So I'm going to go with Dark Matter because this is my favorite ink and I actually don't have a pen currently inked with Dark Matter because I'm trying some different blacks and seeing if I can get used to them or if Dark Matter is just always going to be my favorite. And I've already got ink all over my fingers. <laughs> uh, just absolutely crazy about this. So they do call this Sterling Silver, they refer to it as an aged Sterling look. I tend to prefer high shine. Uh, I think for this aesthetic, it, it works really well. We've got the sterling stamp there, 925K. Very, very cool. I like how they have the branding on the nib. I always appreciate that. And I'm just gonna go nib first. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about fully filling it because I just want to write with this. Okay. I want to say that it almost feels a little awkward. Oh no. Uh, well, at least my ink will match the pen. It off real quick okay it's fine I feel like it's a little awkward the the shape I don't think it's gonna feel like that at all when I start writing but just kind of holding it moving it around feels a little awkward I'm gonna cap it and get this ink capped grab a notebook and start writing that out of the way. This is a Nebula notepad with their Tomoe River paper. And all right, let's see how this does. I'm going to try not capped to begin with, not posted, sorry. And uh, I mean, let's face it, I'm just going to sit there and hold this all the time and just play with it like nonstop. All right, wrote right off with that, which is fantastic. I like nib filling the first time because that just makes life easier. So we have the camera, Turna from Kilk. Medium nib, which feels very good. Yeah. Okay. So the pen's totally comfortable to hold. Like I forgot I was holding a new pen. This just, this is completely comfortable for me. Mm, I love it. The weight is very comfortable. So posted a little, a little awkward. I wouldn't say it's terrible. And I probably would post it occasionally. I love it. Is that for scratch paper? And let's see, what can I write? How about a list of some of my favorite films? 
why not, in honor of the pen's theme and gorgeous aesthetic. Okay, some of my favorite films, in no particular order, because that would be too difficult. Uh, well, right now, if you haven't seen Top Gun Maverick, that is tops on my list right now. Absolutely love it. Went to see it several times. We'll probably go to see it again before it's all over with. Uh, other favorite films. Mm. Interstellar from Christopher Nolan. Uh, Tenet, actually. Tenet. I don't know. That might be my favorite Christopher Nolan film. It's really difficult. Whatever his new film is tends to be my favorite, but Tenet resonated with me in a way that I just absolutely loved. Uh, old Hollywood, kicking it back a little bit. To have and have not. Sabrina with Audrey Hepburn, of course. Mm. Rambo, First Blood. Rocky, and I like all of the Rockies for the most part, but Rocky IV is my favorite to rewatch. It's quite fun. Mm, okay, I might get laughed at for this one, but Treasure Planet, I was obsessed with that film. Still pretty much am, but absolutely adore Treasure Planet. Treasure Island was one of my favorite books as a kid. And Treasure Planet, I thought, was a pretty brilliant adaptation. Absolutely loved it. And of course, there is Star Wars. I forget that I have to put that on a list because it just lives in my head as perfection. But Star Wars, and oddly enough, I know people tend to like Empire Strikes Back, and that tends to be the favorite. Return of the Jedi is actually my favorite. And I'll post for the rest of the list. That is pretty comfortable. It's a little weighty, but it's, it's pretty comfortable. Oh goodness, other favorite films. Okay, this is kind of a weird one, but All About Eve. Betty Davis. Really enjoy that one. Ooh, um, Strangers on a Train. Oh goodness, and John Wayne films. I mean, I could sit here all day and just list all of my favorite films between science fiction, cowboy movies. I mean, we could just, I could be here all day. But I will go ahead and write down True Grit. Laura's pretty good. And if you haven't seen Leave Her to Heaven, that is bone chilling. All right, I think I'll end it there, but yes, uh, favorite movies. Mm, I could be here all day over that. All right, let's go ahead and I'll do a really good close-up writing sample with this pen because I don't really want to stop writing with it. So, Kilk. Camera. Laterna, which means bright room in Latin. This is a number six buck nib, so it is a medium. It is a stainless steel nib. This is Dark Matter from Noodler's Ink.
Okay, so writing with this post-it, it's actually pretty comfortable. It's not really bothering me as much as I thought it might. It's very comfortable. I love it. This might just be my new favorite. Ugh, Vanishing Point is hard to beat, though. I'm just going to be playing giddy over this for a couple of weeks. I love it. I like the presentation. The little accessories are very helpful. The packaging is lovely. Ugh. I'm so excited to add this to my collection and to use it. Thank you so much for watching.